Hi, welcome to uh, Demon View and welcome to the new setup. I hope that you like it. But uh, today I want to talk about something that nobody's really touched on before and I myself only briefly mentioned it. And that is the GoPro Labs firmware for your GoPro camera. Now this is available for the GoPro Hero 8, Hero 9 and Hero 10 as well as the Max camera. There is some limited availability on the GoPro sessions I believe, but uh, I don't think you can do as much with them as you can do the Hero 9 and 10. So we're going to kind of dive into that, what it can do for you, and uh, how to install it. So hope you like the video. Okay, so welcome to the channel. I hope that you like the video. And if you do, please click the like and the subscribe button. They really help out with channel views. And um, this is not a sponsored channel. And as you can see, um, we're not monetizing this very much. So click like, click subscribe, because all those things really help. So on with the video. First thing we want to do is install the GoPro Labs firmware to the camera. So the easiest way to do this is to open up your camera like so and take out the SD card. What you'll want to do then is have an SD card reader in your PC and we're going to put the SD card into the SD card reader. What we're going to do then is we are going to open up our web browser and go to gopro.com. Okay, so here we are, gopro.com, and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click on GoPro Labs. Now that we've clicked on GoPro Labs, what we want to do is where it says Explore GoPro Labs, click on Get Started, and that's going to bring you to this page here, which tells you about the GoPro Labs, but we want to scroll down to here where it says how to install GoPro Labs firmware. And from there, you can select whichever GoPro Labs corresponds to your camera. As you can see, this page pops up, and what you want to do is click on the download button at the top of the screen. So, as you can see, the GoPro Labs is now downloading. Once it has downloaded, you'll just want to click on Open File. And there we go, the file has now opened. So the next thing we want to do is open up our SD card, which we put in our SD card reader, and we do that by clicking on File Explorer and going to the SD card, which is right here. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click this update file and drag it into the SD card. Now, you want to make sure that you click on this update file here and not the file you downloaded. The file you downloaded has been compressed it as a zip file and if you try and drag that zip file onto your SD card it will not work. So make sure that you don't drag the downloaded file because that's compressed it as a zip file. What you'll want to do is make sure you open your zip file and drag that update folder directly into the root directory of your SD card. So on your SD card you should see DCIM, MICS, get started with GoPro and then your update folder. Once that's done, you can remove the SD card from your PC and insert it into your camera to begin the GoPro Labs update. And that's it. Your GoPro is now ready to be updated. So we're going to remove the SD card reader from the PC. And we're going to put it back into the GoPro camera, just like so. And you want to make sure that your GoPro camera battery is fully charged for this. You don't want it to be nearly empty or anything like that, because what this is going to do, it's going to basically install the GoPro Labs firmware on the camera, and you want to make sure that gets installed properly, that it doesn't run out of battery halfway through or anything like that. So we're just going to turn on the camera. And the very first thing you'll actually see is it's installing the update. You can actually see the little icon there that shows you installing the update. And this is going to take a few moments to do. Your camera may reboot like twice during it, but that's okay. That's to be expected. So there are a couple of ways to use the QR codes for your camera. And the first of which is to go back to gopro.com where it says explore GoPro labs, click on create your code. And this section gives you a brief rundown on what the QR codes are and how to control your camera, but it's also divided up into very handy sections. For instance, you can set your camera's date and time by clicking on Precision Date and Time. So all you have to do is point your camera directly at this QR code 
it'll read the code and it will actually set your GoPro's time. There are other things that you can do with this as well, such as owner's information. And I think this is one of the first things you should do with your camera. And this will basically allow you to input some information such as Demon View LLC and Demon View LLC at gmail.com. If I point my camera at this QR code, Every time I turn on my camera, that message there, DemonView LLC and DemonView LLC at gmail.com will actually pop up on the rear screen of the camera. And this is very handy for if you're using the camera and it gets lost. People actually have some contact information to help return the camera to you. Then there's the delayed reactions. You can start recording at a particular time. Use motion detection, speed activation, which is actually very handy. So if you're like me, flying in your airplane, obviously you don't want to start your camera straight away and have it recording all the way down the taxiway, doing the run up and then recording because that could actually use up quite a lot of battery. Whereas if you had speed activation activated on your camera, you can actually set the camera to start recording once the GPS detects that you've hit, let's say 30 miles an hour. And that's excellent way for actually starting your camera and cutting out some of the uh, unneeded footage beforehand. As you can see, you can capture sunsets and sunrises, and that basically starts recording your camera before the actual sunset or sunrise in your local area. And basically that does need GPS lock, but it's a very handy feature. Then you have extra long time lapses and that's an excellent little feature because what that actually does is when you're doing a photo time lapse, it'll actually turn off your camera between each interval and then turn your camera back on again to capture the next photo. And this means you can actually make your battery and your GoPro last a very, very long time indeed. Then there's experimental functions for the Hero 9, Hero 8, and Hero Max, but um, I believe the Hero 10 is covered in this. The Just the web page has not been updated yet. 12 gigabyte chapters if you actually want to have less chapters on your camera when you're recording. Burn in overlays. This means that, uh, like it says here, if you wanted to use your camera as a dash cam or if you wanted to have footage with your website address on it, this will actually put that in on the actual footage itself. And some of these features, like I said, they're very handy indeed. Motion trigger, this means your camera will start recording the minute motion is detected. That's great. USB power trigger. And if you, again, if you're using your camera as a dash camera, if you turn on the ignition and you have a USB cable going into your camera, this can basically say to your camera, start recording the very minute you detect power. So there are a lot of features here in the GoPro Labs and in coming videos, I will cover them and show you some examples on how to use them. But if you want to get more out of your GoPro camera and if you want to get the best possible performance and do things that other cameras can too, I strongly advise you to install the GoPro Labs firmware. So hopefully you found this video interesting and if you did, please remember to click the like and subscribe button. It really helps drive views to the channels and it will actually help with making more videos later on. So like I said, I will be covering more QR codes in an upcoming video and showing you real life examples on how to use them. So hopefully you found this video interesting and thank you for watching.